from College Station. And as you'd expect, it's a touchback. So he's become their feature back. He goes out in the flat, but Nussmeier's looking across the middle. It's a low throw, and it's incomplete. Mason Taylor, the tight end, comes in motion. There are three receivers as they hit it to Durham running left, and the Aggies fly downhill and knock it down behind the line. Aggies bring pressure again. Nussmeier slings it sidearm incomplete. It was just behind Mason Taylor. And it losing yardage on the opening series. And Peyton Todd to punt it away. Jabray Barber comes up, slides, and makes a fair catch after a short punt. Alan Klein is the play caller. Try to, try to find some easy throws, get his confidence established. But this is an offense we... Tonight, multiple games, we think, with an ankle injury. And they'll feed... Physical runner Moss downhill gets just a yard. Saving out he can do to disrupt this offense. Aggies run it for 219 a game. It's the backbone of what they do. And a second and long run off the left side. You see why. And it's at the end of the play. Automatic first down. And they better walk the other direction. Yeah. Harris Shan guilty of the parade. Daniels is the back now. Bigman looking to throw in first down. Here comes the pressure on the blind side, and he'll be sacked. Getting there quickly. Second and 16. And to get some of it back and feed Daniels up the middle into heavy traffic. They pick up just a couple. Walking both those two linebackers up, that mug look. They don't bring pressure. Comes off the edge and across the middle. It's incomplete. Tried to find it. No what times could be important. Tyler White, the freshman, having a terrific season so far. The lefty boots it very high. Can he get it to check up? He does, and they'll touch it. Anderson who motions across. Nussmeyer looking to roll and throw in first down. Checks it down to Durham. And the running back scoots after the 13. Chased down by Meyer. Pressure. Flips it down to Durham again. Makes a man miss. Gets into space. Look out. Peyton Durham down the sidelines. Imagine his speed. Two checkdowns, and they're across midfield. Josh Williams is the back. And a short gain up the middle for the graduate student. Died and Will Campbell on the left. Across the middle, short pitch and catch to C.J. Daniels, the other receiver that we thought might be doubtful. This group has really grown from where they were early in the year to, I think, becoming more consistent as a year. Got to snap it. They just get the playoff and trying to throw for it in third and one, and the catch is made. And again, that's C.J. Daniels. Running left, bursting into the secondary, Josh Williams banging down to the five. Set up. First and goal, eighth play of the drive. And that time, stepping right into heavy traffic, Williams dropped behind the line of scrimmage to be ready for the inside. Second and goal, slings it into the flat and instantly hitting Williams right there. Coming up, making a nice play. It is loud on this third and goal. End zone throw, no chance. Much too high for Trades Green. The spending touchdown, they sure did. So LSU marches you from there, seven. And for LSU, and Terry Bussey, another freshman, waits this and will let it sail out of the end zone. So, Barber in motion, and it's a slant. Airmailed it. He's over the head. Too hot for his class coming out. So huge expectations from day one. Moss, right into that LSU 11 times. Four-man rush, Redman still feels pressure, dumps it down, catch made by Moss out of the backfield, lost the ball. The scramble for flag came in. Takeaways are a part of LSU's MO. Fumbles are not what you'd expect. After the play, personal foul, late hit, Texas A&M, yep, number 55. Yep. Down. Look at these guys. They don't have their backs turned in man coverage. You're able to rally to the football. That's where the ball came out. Gilbert gets up. On the left, that's Meyer. Steps up and delivers a downfield shot, and the catch is made. Mason Taylor. They bring five, ball out quickly, and the catch is made. Thomas knocked down after a short gain at the top. Going to throw for it. Slant, caught. Green knocked down at the one. Nick six, seven. And they're going to throw it to the end zone. Looping catch, Mason Taylor, LSU, gets this. You've enjoyed watching his talents from his first year at LSU. He's always been a really clutch, reliable guy, and tremendous athletic guy. Late heroics. What a hit. That was a heck of a Trojans. Game.
Well, A&M needs a response. They've got a the challenging thing is they've, they've got a kind of a, a run first mentality this year. The run game. Two back look and running free. Big game. Moss trying to atone for the fuck. He knows how to finish runs, that's for sure. Is that the spark the Aggie offense needed? Bang, fastball just bounced right off of Moss's chest. Holly? Done an oh, attitude 180 really in the last year. Now he's become a contagious enthusiasm leader guy for this team. Like a lot of the Aggies, you know, they're a little strong. Need eight to keep this drive going. They're going to try to run for it. But Daniels and Amari Daniels picks up the first down easily. Rolling can make you miss. And runs with toughness too. Becomes pressure on first down on the slant. Catch made by Jabray Barber. Regman's best throw. Regman, pump fake, just has to throw it away. Really nobody open. Reg Penn closed it down, but Barber was well. Second and ten. Moss again. You're not afraid to run the ball. Even in second and long, picks up three. Getting their attention, makes an adjustment. You bring pressure, Eggman steps up, delivers. Barber's got it, he's got speed. Stiff arm, shoved out first, and go. Moss, darts free, touchdown, Texas A&M. Randy Bond cuts the lead to three with seven seconds and an eventful for adrenaline flowing tonight and Moss oh, yeah. would have been upset at himself. He does not fumble the ball, period. And right, so <laughs> it's great. From the goal line, Xavier Thomas going to give it a go. At a little crease, but he's going to be slung down just about. Nesmeyer, downfield shot. Yeah, it's incomplete. Chris Hilton, number just back play. Contact way downfield. Yeah, it's Bill about that one. Second and long run for Durham was spun down and hit. Oh, working against the visitors at the moment. Got him with a hard count. Gonna make it a slightly easy. Oh, I thought it was a great job of using that hard count. It, He's it, been doing that look, by the way, all night. It just got louder, by the way, in third and fifth. That by LSU on that third and 15. And they pick up 33. Williams, heavy traffic. Lacey is so touchdown reception. Second and seven, Nussmeyer heaves it downfield. That's Thomas in coverage, and it's broken up. Here comes the pressure. Nussmeyer steps up, delivers a long throw, catch made. It's Lacey again. Lacey is free, and a first down. Trying to pick the number out, being attended to by the athletic training staff. They're trying to stretch out the leg here. Take a pause. Right, first down from the 28, and Durham trying to bounce it, brought down after a couple. Oh, they've done a great job of and it's Anderson motioning across and a flag down a false start From the pocket Nussmeyer launches to the end zone. It's Hilton Incomplete try to get him involved. Dolby just not quite there perfectly Can they convert again on third and long they're gonna try to run it with Durham and blitz was coming he got nutter Drives it and hooked it missed it so moss has been the feature back so far but it's amari daniels in on the pitch and he's knocked down picked up about six but almost he's got it again running right and spins forward knocked down a couple yards short of the marker by braden swins See if they keep it on the ground curve trying to move the six. They do. Three carries in a row for Daniels. It's close. But oh, they're spotting it. Wegman backs up. Escapes pressure for now. Still alive. Connor Wegman weaving. It was a pretty adventurous zag like that. Serpentine like through, through there. Daniels did. Moss off the right side. Here's a man who knows how to finish your run. Lowers the pads. Wegman looking to throw, and first down again, eludes pressure, weaving his way, still got the ball, held on to it too long. Jay Smith, son of Emmett Smith, has the football, on a second and long, Smith breaks free, a flag comes down behind on the Aggie so far, but negates a nice run, and now they're way behind the sticks. Would have been third and fourth. him way back. Empty backfield on second and 22, five receivers out for Wegman. And instead just throws it in the dirt. Some area for AM with injuries. Third and 22. Tigers say there was a flinch. Mm -hmm. Officials for this punter. 
And the lefty drives it. It's a nice one. Right at the 10. And so that's what the Tigers will be had. We can then throw in the move here. And the sideline rub drop bounce off the hands of Kyron Lacy. You show the city. We've got to be proud of again seeing his son play in that chaos. Durham spun down behind the line. Aggies coming downhill on second long. Look out. Aaron Anderson went down low. It's a sprint. Anderson will not be caught. Touchdown. Play back, maybe prevent the touchdown. Anderson's 5'8, and Jay Bateman said he is a matchup problem. Even